Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, I'm hoping you just finished watching my lot tour video for 1237 Salt Lick. We're going to be doing a little drive-by of it, but this is the second part of that video where I'm going to be going on my motorcycle and showing you off this part of Vintage Oaks and the surrounding area just to let you know what's going on. All right, let's go for a ride, a realtor ride. All right, for this part of the video, we don't even have to get on the bike and go anywhere because I want to show off just what's going on out on 2722 in Powder Ridge. This is kind of the side entry to Vintage Oaks. And the reason I want to come out here and show you this is this is the road that does go up to Canyon Lake. And there's a new community coming uh, just over there, kind of in the valley there. It's going to be called Watercolors. It's a really neat community. Definitely not gonna be as big as Vintage Oaks. There's only gonna be like 200 spots. 50 of them are gonna be one acre lots where you can build uh, the really nice, they call it the estate section. But those lots start at $200,000. And uh, I'm really kind of excited to see what's gonna be happening at the watercolors community. I'm gonna be doing more videos on it. But they're gonna be having uh, a nine hole golf course, uh, a wellness center, um, and assisted living, uh, grocery shopping, um, and the grocery shopping and stuff, that's gonna be open to the places here at Vintage Oaks. And they're gonna have like small villa estates overlooking the little golf course, some more small villas looking over their little man-made lake that they're putting in. So why, oh, that's loud. So why am I talking about what's going on over there and also talking about the lot for some of Vintage Oaks? is because showcasing the really nice things about living in this part of New Braunfels. Uh, you've also got Copper Ridge to drive down the road, so you're gonna have three uh, luxury home communities all kind of right here. Just kind of give you an idea about the people and your neighbors and stuff that's gonna be going around in this area. You're still just eight miles or eight minutes away from HEB right down 46 here. Um, so you're still convenient to everything. Wonderful schools, uh, wonderful amenity centers. And on this video tour, I'm gonna to be putting some links into uh, up here so you can show some of the videos I've already shot before in case you missed them. All right, let me get the helmet on and uh, hop on the old Tiger 900 and go for a ride. All right, hopefully you can hear me all right. Uh, one of the things I do love about my Tiger 900 is I can control my GoPro from the bike. That's really awesome. All right, we are still at uh, 2722. Vintage Oaks has actually five entrances to it. Yeah, this place is pretty insane. Uh, but this is the kind of Canyon Lakeside entrance. Uh, and it is still quite easy access to uh, New Braunfels. If you come in the gap this section and make a first right, that puts you right at the uh, Grand Endeavor model home, along with Kirk Home model home. If you ever wonder where that was at, just coming up 2722 and uh, make your first right, and there they are. Talk to Javier or Trevor. But I want to show off some of the stuff. One of the questions I get asked quite a bit is can you put a uh, travel uh, van or travel bus in there you can it just makes sure it looks like the house itself because yeah a lot of people who can't afford to live here also want to be doing some traveling so they got those big old buses rv things and uh, like to do that there is a kind of small amenity section there's three different amenity sections in vintage oaks this is kind of the small one on the this side uh, so just a little pool and uh, volleyball court but uh, we'll be driving by the fitness center and uh, and I'll link uh, to my link to the rest of the amenity center tours but this kind of showcases off the lots and some of the homes that are getting built out here this is what I call the natural gas side of vintage oaks because when you get on the original side it's propane only or you're doing electric which yeah if you're living in a house like this you're gonna want either propane or natural gas but uh we're now on curvature road this is kind of the main thoroughfare that goes through the natural gas side of vintage oaks the little newer stuff 
So you are gonna, if you are living off this road, I do have a client getting a house built off Grand Endeavor. You are gonna have a little bit more traffic on this road than uh, say if you lived on Smoky Loop here, which kind of curves around. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love this community and uh, tax rates really nice around 1.8 for the acre section. There is no timeline to build. You can bring any builder in as long as it's, they say on the website it's 2,400, but uh, it's really, they want you to build at least 2,600 square foot house. Um, prices have been coming down a little bit. Oh, there's my house. My client's getting the Grand Endeavor house built. Another video tour of that will be coming soon. Just because, yeah, wonderful family. I'm super excited for them. They bought their lot years ago. Uh, and they got a hell of a deal on it because they did. But, uh, yeah. A lot of construction going on here. Of course, since COVID, we had a big boom. Let's go and dip off the little back roads a little bit. This is a uh, game trail road. But, uh, yeah, this community's been out here for about 15 years. Now, I've been videoing it for, I guess, almost five. So maybe even 16 or 17 years this community's been out here. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's a big community, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I'm a little bit of a social person, if you can't tell, I like to talk. So I really like that aspect of, I don't want to be completely isolated, um, but I do want to be uh, out away from the main city. I don't want people right on top of me, but this is definitely, in my opinion, everybody has their own opinion, they're not right on top of you. But if you want to walk down the street to your neighbors and... Uh, have a glass of wine you certainly can do that but just love the views of the texas hill country this is all going to be on limestone so you don't have to really worry about foundation issues at all because yeah right below this is you go just a couple inches down you're hitting limestone that's the good part about limestone no foundation issues bad part is it's going to cost you a little bit more to get a pool dug so Weston Dean building that house. Uh, who's, oh, that's another Grand Endeavor home. Grand Endeavor, they are one of my favorite uh, semi-custom home builders where they've got their 12 plans to choose from. And they can make changes. Um, if you saw my Grand Endeavor home that's getting built out in uh, Bell Oaks, they're making changes. This is a Casa Domain home that's almost, uh, that's looking really, coming along real, real good. They're one of my favorite. They're more uh, higher end custom home builders. Uh, talk to Ryder. Um, I've got another client building a um, Casa Domain home and it's absolutely gorgeous. But some beautiful homes being built here. I really love they did the long horseshoe driveway, which as you can see, we got quite a few of those horseshoe driveways coming along here. But we are now on Salt Lake. This is the same road that I've actually got that lot listed on. So if you want these guys as your neighbors and if you've got kids and no heavy traffic because we're not on a major road that ends in a cul-de-sac, uh, yeah, you can have your kids out riding your bike all day long on this cul-de-sac, uh, hoverboarding, whatever the kids are doing nowadays. And uh, you can do that. Yep, that Grand Endeavor home's purchased. But yeah, because this community has been out here so long and yeah, the last three years, we've definitely seen a surge of people. That KCK home has been purchased. There's really not much available out here. Uh, and then the, another home sold. But uh, yeah, there's still some great builders. Build times are going faster now. Um, as I'm filming this, we're late April, 2023. Uh, doing what I call the surge where everybody was moving here at once. Um, yeah, it was taking a long time to build, but now that interest rates have gone nuts, starting to trickle down a little bit, um, but buildings have slowed down a lot. All the trades are now coming back begging builders for work. So, oh, here's my lot that is for sale. This is 1237 Salt Lick. We, I just did a video tour of it coming, uh, walking back there a little bit kind of showing you what the neighbor's lot looks like once they cleared the trees out but i really love this part of the community like i said this is the natural gas side uh it has kind of like different tiers we got your build site and your backyard and it kind of would tear down a little bit to you can have like a secondary backyard 
there's no gates on vintage oaks and some people are worried about oh they have to have gated community but we're really separated by distance that eight miles and there's really no uh i haven't heard about any crime and stuff going on out here so that gated community thing it's kind of redundant this is a really nice safe part of new Braunfels, and uh where was i going I lost my train of thought oh no gate means you don't have you can come out here and check this place out yourself you you can send me a text that makes me feel good or so i can tell my client hey i got a text someone else went and drove by looked at your lot just so they realize my marketing my videos and everything like that is doing something but just send me a text that hey we checked out your lot today cool um i'm not gonna harass you um but just let this let him know what i'm doing is getting some traffic out here but you don't you don't need the schedule showing you can just kind of come on out here on a beautiful uh afternoon like it is today and check it out but yeah there's the other lot you can see it slopes down there in the back but plenty of room for a build site and a backyard and then it goes down to a little creek bed down back there and no there's no flooding out here um we don't have a lot of standing water because of the limestone as well beautiful house and i love this is a casey custom home uh i know these clients uh watch my channel because they mentioned it in one of the comments but that house is just breath breathtaking they got a really good builder um i need to redo a casey cost of the main house i did their model home that was out here but the sound got jacked up and i just haven't had time to come out and redo them at that time my gopro mic adapter i didn't realize it had wine poured into the spot well yeah my gopro a little plug there got jacked up so i had to buy a new gopro so now we're past any sound issues all right we are now back on curvature road as you can tell a little bit busier but uh i want to take you by here and show you where the fitness center is the lap pool we're going to do a drive by and i'll point up and I'll give a link to the video where i actually walked in and did a whole tour of that uh facility very nice and then we'll go ahead and exit vintage oaks and i'll kind of show you a little bit more around the area because there's some cool stuff and of course uh i'll link the video to the amenities tour that also shows the uh big lazy river gorgeous pool oh my gosh i love uh coming out here sometimes some of my past clients invite me out to go play in the lazy river my daughter's already hit me up daddy this summer are we gonna go play in the lazy river at vintage oaks and i'm like mm, we'll see but uh yeah so if any of my past clients uh, are watching this video feel free to shoot me a text once uh the river opens up and I, I think that's starting in uh in just a, another week or two if it's not already most places start opening up on the weekends in may some beautiful homes and we're obviously not going to go all the way through vintage oak so there's there's a lot of homes out here uh these homes are going to be on septic you can see that right there don't let that freak you out um these aerobic septic systems uh, really don't take a lot of maintenance you just have to have someone kind of service it once a year or once six months i forget what that is but it's not that big of a deal you are on city water not well water so that's a good thing but yeah just some beautiful homes out here in vintage oaks Sold a lot back there not long ago. But um, up here we're going to be taking a left hand turn and going out one of the three main entrances or exits, whichever way you're going, to this community. Uh, and that's going to be going to drive by the Grove section. Uh, Perry Homes and Monticello Homes, they've already sold out. Scott Felder still has some homes to sell so if you're looking for more of a traditional neighborhood uh there are some stuff out there and of course there every once in a while there's some homes that pop up in the secondary market meaning not from the builder itself but 
because this has been out here for a while. But yeah, I just, I mean, look at this. This is just beautiful here. There's a lot of deer, cluster of deer there. We do have a lot of deer out here. So if you're looking for what you're planting in your front yard, you do, or you do have to pay attention to what, how much the deer like it. But uh, yeah, we do have some deer. I have seen a small gray fox, and oh my god, it was freaking adorable. Just curled up sleeping in a tree. Not a threat to dogs or cats or something. It was just a little small tiny thing. Looks like it hunts mice, which is what you want. All right. This goes back into the main section. Pretty much everything from here to the west that's going to be on the propane section. This is kind of the dividing line for natural gas. Uh, and everything to my right now is going to be the older section on propane if you buried it. There's the KC Custom Home. Definitely go check them out. I was quite impressed about how their design process wor worked. I thought it was really super cool. But now we're on Bordeaux Road one of the three main roads coming into Vintage Oaks. You see these homes are different looking. That's because they're part of the Grove. Uh, Perry and Monticello Homes, they're my favorite builders in the Grove. And this goes twisting around back there quite a bit. So if uh, you're not looking for that full one acre and one of these homes pop up, definitely check it out. But they do have the privacy fences. You notice the rest of Vintage Oaks did not. They have the little wired fences you can do because they really want to keep the natural landscape. All right, up here on my right, that's going to be the fitness center with the lap pool. They do a lot of yoga classes there or whatever type of classes people do. Uh, really neat having a place where you can just get on your bike and ride down to there's the Scott Felder model home that's the only model home left here and now we're coming out to the one of the main entrances right off of 46 and if you're coming from New Braunfels this is the first entrance off of 46 you do have to be ready to go when you go because people are going uh, 65 miles an hour or so down this road so hang on to your butts. I love that my Tiger 900's got a little horsepower to it. All right, we're gonna take you down here, show you the three entrances, and then I'm gonna take a left and kind of show you something else that I find very unique about this area. It's got its own wine. Well, it's not its own winery, but there is a winery right here that I know is kind of a social hotspot. Uh, this is the Vintage Way entrance, kind of the, the main, main entrance. And if you stay on 46 here, you can go all the way to... Um, you can take it actually all the way to Bernie if you want. But it go past, goes past Bulverde, uh, you go by Bell Oaks. But this is neat and quite new, uh, they've got their own little gas station slash little farmer's market couple little small sandwich shops in there to eat at places to buy wine but yeah the, a lot of people are off work today so you do see some traffic but it's not like it piles up traffic uh going through the texas hill country unless you're stuck behind someone driving exceptionally slow and you're waiting for a passing lane all right, we're going to turn at the winery. I want to show that off a little bit, at least do a little drive-by. Just further up the road, you do have Meyer Ranch, which is going to be more of a traditional neighborhood. I really like that neighborhood just because it's in this location. Uh, be aware, though, that Meyer Ranch does have a mud tax, putting their tax rate around 2.75, but there are some great builders. Uh, Chessmar's in there. Um... Tri point is in there now, um, but yeah, I do like that. Oh, someone's building this. This is actually a part of Vintage Oaks, but this was more of a 
five acre stuff looks like they're making something else but here's the winery uh, people come out here kind of hang out they got a little social section back there let's see if you can see people back there it's tough to tell but they have events out here all the time where people kind of come out sip on their wine and I heard that the owner of this winery lives out in Vintage Oaks so if they've had a little too many sometimes you can get someone here uh, to give you a ride home and it's not too far to come pick up your vehicle Afterwards. But just past this winery, if you're wondering, if you're like, hey, I want to have some horses, you can stable your horses out here. They also do horse riding classes. Uh, we're coming up to that right up here. So this road that we're on just kind of loops around and it ends up kind of right on the other side of Vintage Oaks. But it's also a great spot if you're into uh, riding your bicycles and stuff. Got those little fancy, expensive bicycles. You can just stay in Vintage Oaks and ride all day. Or you can come out here too if you want a little something different. You can tell it's just beautiful countryside here in this part of Texas. And some beautiful homes. These are, like I said, five acre lots. But yeah, they've already been purchased and built up on said being late April we still got some flowers out uh, our blue bonnet season came a little bit early this year we were in uh, early March and the blue bonnets all came up and that's one of those traditions me and my family do we take our kiddo out and take lots of blue bonnet pictures we've done that every year since she's been born so there's lots of space places uh, to come out to like this if they've got a lot of blue bonnets all right here's the horse place you can see it's a big facility see some horses out there right now where you can stable your horses uh there you go they got parties lessons trail rides corporate events and boarding so lots of stuff going on out here um so if yeah if you'd like to go out hang out drink some wine the, um as i i'll put the link to the member check up here when you see the links to it where we're going to show previous motorcycle tour and I'll put all these links in the description box of all the videos I've done kind of showcasing Vintage Oaks but I think it's a good time to head on back to Vintage Oaks and this is pretty much what the road looks like going back till we get to 46 so I'm gonna pause for now all right well we just came off of 46 now we headed back down towards 27 22 I'm gonna take you back up towards Canyon Lake and we'll end up kind of where we started from but uh, the HEB grocery store shopping, all that good stuff is just about five minutes down uh, towards New Braunfels. And if you want to get to like the heart of everything, the downtown New Braunfels area, that's only about, well, from here, about 10 minute drive or maybe 12. But uh, from Vintage Oaks, you're looking at about 15 minute drive to get to like all the restaurants, the downtown area. I, I spent a lot of time down in downtown New Braunfels with my family. I live in Shirts, and it's only about a 25 minute drive for me, so that's not so bad. See Canyon Lake uh, is just 13 miles up the road here, and which isn't bad at all. Because it's not 13 miles of traffic, it's 13 miles of this road. But uh, yeah, we spent a lot of time in New Braunfels. We love the live music, restaurants, Green, green Hall. Um, lots of different events that they have. Ooh, something else is coming up here. Um, but they have different things like uh, Wassel Fest, which is kind of like, it's a Christmassy type thing. Wade Bowen, well last year he didn't play here, but oftentimes he does play at Wassel Fest. And, we, have to, we do have our own type of Texas country music, and one of the things I do like about Vintage Oaks is quite a few of those Texas country music artists actually live in Vintage Oaks, and uh, they have a big park area on the other side of Vintage Oaks, and they'll have a concert sometimes, uh, especially in the spring and summer. So, um, yeah, it, it's a really great family atmosphere. I really do like it a lot. Uh, you're convenient to everything great tax rate um, but you're 
out of the hustle and bustle of the town, but you're not too far away where you can't go to town. And if you're wondering, San Antonio is probably about a 40 minute drive from here. Um, but I, I personally just don't go into San Antonio very much. I love the Church Cibolo area and the New Braunfels area. I'm just not a big fan of San Antonio. Too many people. And it doesn't have the charm of the Texas Hill Country. And my friends, this is the Texas Hill Country out here. And the people are great. Um, I, I, I just really love it. Lots and lots of stuff to do. A lot of mom and pop restaurants, especially as you're going down 46. There's a couple of them that have been there for a long time. Uh, if I had to choose one, I really love the Antler. Um, that's a good place to kind of go eat at. But I wanted to take you this way here because this also shows you another new community that's coming, that's available now. It's a community being built by Grand Endeavor and Jimmy Jacobs. If you've been around for a while, Jimmy Jacobs has his own building thing and he used to build under the name Jimmy Jacobs, but now he builds with Grand Endeavor. Wonderful builder, great reputation. But he's got a really uh, good sized community coming up here called the Preserves at Elm Creek. I did a motorcycle video tour of that, but man, my that was before I realized my GoPro sound was jacked up. So it sounded really, really bad. So I need to come out there and do that again. But they're also getting ready to do their grand opening for this lot. But uh, like I said, I really do like Grand Endeavor. If you don't want to go, I mean, they're they're great quality homes, but they're Grand Endeavor. That's going to be a different price point than uh, not Grand Endeavor. Places like Casa de Maine, Artisan Homes, they're going to be a little bit different price point than Grand Endeavor is. But it all depends on what you're looking for. But as you can tell, not a lot of traffic on this road. There are some trucks and stuff. I wouldn't want to live right off this road. But if you're thinking about buying a one acre spot, that uh, the Preserves Elm Creek definitely is a nice option. But I would kind of try to stay away from the lots that kind of snuggle up to 2272 because uh, I'm not a fan of road noise. All right, here's the Preserves at Elm Creek. When we look back there, I mean, there are some nice rolling hills lots. And there are two entrances into uh, Vintage Oaks from the Preserves, which is kind of nice, especially if you've got friends. The latest word I had from uh, Jimmy Jacobs is that you're not going to have access to the Vintage Oaks amenities, but there's going to be a neat little park area. But you can always build your own pool there if you're going to be back here. And once again, just further down the road is going to be that new community um, watercolor. And there's going to be more to come on that as it comes out. They're still in the development stage of it, but it can be super cool. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap it up now since we're back where we started from uh, the 2722 entrance. I'm going to go visit my uh, friends at Grand Endeavor. They wanted to say hi to me because they heard I was out here. But yeah, this is how to get to the Grand Endeavor model home. And I'll wrap it up from there. I hope you liked this video and found it informative. If you did, hit that like button. I know I need to do better about reminding people to do that earlier on the video. But yeah, here's the Grand Endeavor model home. Uh, but yeah, like, hit that like button. It really helps boost the algorithm so more people get visibility of what I'm doing here. And uh, yeah, share these videos. I'm all about putting as much information out there as possible because if you're moving from another state, it's a scary thing and as a realtor my job is to make a scary stage in your life less scary because i can't make it completely unscary but less scary less stressful by giving you all this information about the area and things to do so you can make the best decision possible for you and your family all right that's going to do it for now talk to you soon take care now bye